Hi guys, uh, today in this video, I will show you how to install a uh, Palo Alto Firewall VM onto VMware ESXi environment. Uh, so I will be using the Palo Alto latest uh, version uh, 10.0. Uh, to install uh, the Palo Alto firewall. So let's uh, get started. So this is my VMware environment. So first of all, you need to download the OA image of uh, Palo Alto VM from uh, Palo Alto support portal. And uh, I have already done that. So this is the base image for the uh, VM. So now let's get started. So to deploy, I'll click on file. Uh, since it's not an ISO image, we won't click on new virtual machine. Instead, we will click on deploy the OVF template. This is the wizard. So just browse the image uh, which I have downloaded. Click on next. Let me give it a name. I'm giving it PAVM2 because I already have one uh, installed in my environment. Uh, I will keep it as uh, thin provisioned and okay, so let's continue. This is my network adapter in my VMware environment. So you'll have your own network adapters. So you can select those, click on next. I won't power on it because I need to tweak some settings. So I'll just finish it. So it has uh, started uh, the deployment. Okay, so deployment is completed. I will click on close. And so these, this is my VM. I will edit the virtual machine settings. Memory, uh, this, uh, this needs at least 6.5 GB. So I will put it as 7 GB. CPUs, two cores is fine. And hard disk. Hard disk, uh, I don't require much, so I'll give it 40 GB. And uh, I will keep the adapters uh, uh, the same. Okay, so I'll click on OK and I will power on the virtual machine. Let's go to console. Now this will boot the PanOS uh, software onto this uh, VM. So it might take some time. So I'll uh, pause the video while this is loading up. Okay, so the installation was uh, done pretty quick. And uh, from the messages, uh, we can see that uh, the DHCP has assigned me an IP address also. So let's, let me log in. The default uh, credentials uh, for a new firewall is uh, admin admin. And it will ask to reset the password right away. Okay, the password has changed. Uh, so 
Now, uh, in my environment, I have already got an IP from DHCP, uh, but if you need to change that or there is no DHCP in your environment, then you'll have to follow below steps. So you need to go to the configure mode and type in set device config system IP address 192.168.30.72. Oops, sorry. 188. Thirty dot seventy. I'll use the same IP which uh, the DHCP has uh, provided it. Netmask two fifty five. Uh, I don't know why this happens. One zero and the default gateway. Thirty dot eleven in my case. Okay, that's it. And change the mode from DHCP to static. Set device config system type static and commit it. So that's all you need to do on the uh, console. Uh, and after this commits, you can directly log into the web UI and do the rest of the configurations. So let the commit uh, finish and then I'll log in to the GUI. Okay, it has been committed, so let me log in now. Yep, I am getting the login prompt. So this is the new uh, page, home page, uh, which Palo Alto has deployed in version 10.0. Okay, so you're able to log into the device as well. So uh, that's all in the installation part. And uh, I will do another video uh, for the basic settings just right after this. So if you want to get started with some of the basic settings, you can check my next video. So I hope uh, it was uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching.